Off-roading is all about flex. The better you can get that suspension to flex, the better it's going to do off-road as it works its way through the terrain. Now this is the 2021 Hella Yella Giveaway Wrangler that we installed the TerraFlex RT2, that two and a half inch lift kit on. And we've got it flexed up on the forklift. Now this is with the sway bar connected. And the bottom of the tire is right about 17 inches. So now we're gonna drop it down, disconnect those sway bar disconnects, and then see how far we can get it to flex. And we're just over 27 inches, which means we increased our flex by 10 inches, which off-road, that'll make a huge difference. The Jeep will be able to follow that terrain and get you through the trail much easier. But one thing you're gonna find out about quick disconnects is they're not always that quick to disconnect, nor are they always that easy to reconnect. Now, Annie Rock Sway Bars by Rock Jock will help fix that issue by just not having to disconnect or reconnect anything. Let's go into the studio and talk more about them. This is the Annie Rock kit for the front of a Wrangler JL, and it consists of a replacement sway bar, sway bar arms, the brackets for the frame, and replacement sway bar end links. Now the Annie Rock sway bar has been around for many years. It was first developed for the Jeep TJ and became so popular that they developed them for many other models of Jeeps, including the JK and now the JL and JT. They're so popular that they even offer many of the parts separately and have universal kits. So with a little tinkering, you can install them in just about any off-road vehicle. So let's get this installed. Now to assemble our sway bar links, you have two different nuts, a gold and a silver, and you have a left hand thread and a right hand thread. The gold nut goes on the left hand thread and it's gonna spin backwards. The silver nut goes on the right hand thread. So now if we look at the rod ends included in the kit, you're gonna have two left hand rod ends, which you can tell they have this extra little machine groove in them. You have one right hand threaded rod end, and then you have one right hand threaded standard heim joint. One right, one left on the driver's side, and on the passenger side, we're gonna use one left hand, and then we're gonna use the right hand standard heim. We're gonna throw a little Loctite on the rod, and the left hand threaded joint goes on with the gold nut. And the right hand joint goes on the side with the silver nut. And same for the other side. Left handed joint goes on the side with the gold nut. The right hand joint goes on the side with the silver nut. Then we have two rings that go on either side of the heim joint. 
the thicker side of it goes up against the brackets, the thinner side goes against the joint itself. So we're right at 25 and 3 quarter. And at 25 and 3 quarter, that's only an inch and a quarter less with the anti-rock installed than having your factory sway bar completely disconnected. And that's a pretty good trade-off because, well, you don't have to disconnect or reconnect anything. You can just head out on the trail, flex it out, and head right back out on the road. And that's pretty damn good. So, are you ready for a Rock Jock Anti Rock in your four wheel drive? We'll hit that description box down below to where you can find a link to get one for your rig. You'll also find a link to where you can enter to win this Hella Yella Giveaway Wrangler. And while you're down there, hit up that comment section and let us know. What are you running for a sway bar setup? We'd love to hear. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.